Hi guys, and welcome to Watch It Wednesday, episode 105. So, today's example, you're going to do a lot of cutting, but it'll be worth it. And I just want to say there's not going to be a lot of um, different type of varieties, uh, but we'll show you what I mean when I get there. So, for this, you're going to need nine pieces of cardstock or DSP that are one and five sixteenths by one and three fourths. So what I like to do is the backs of these have all these wonderful fall like colors. So I like taking like when I'm going to cut this down to a card size, I'm probably going to cut off some of that sky anyway. So I'm going to use this one. Oh, this is the, um, the, oh, uh, what is it? Splendid Autumn DSP. So let's see. On that, I would probably cut off some of that, but I want to make sure these look good together. Those look good together. I would never cut off that sky, but maybe I'd cut off some of this ground. So I think we're still looking okay. Color-wise there, yep. I would cut off some of those on the bottom. So let's see. That I wouldn't cut anything. That I probably wouldn't cut anything. So I'm just looking in, oh, that's beautiful, but I would probably cut off some of that sky. All right, so I need nine of these, so I wanna do two of each of those. So we're looking good. So now I'm gonna line them up the way I wanna cut them. Now, if you have a pattern on the back side, of course you would want to, I'm only gonna do three at a time. You would want to make sure that your pattern is facing the right way. All right, so let's go ahead. Since we don't have a pattern in the back, it doesn't matter which way is our 5 sixteenths and our 3 fourths. So I'm going to do 1 and 5 sixteenths. So now four, a fourth of an inch is 4 sixteenths. So it's just a little bit over that. So 1 and 5 sixteenths. And then we're going to do one and three-fourths. And as long as you have that strip out, you might as well cut a bunch, right? All right, see, even that side would be pretty to do. Maybe I'll have to do that too. So let's go ahead and let's grab our last two pieces. So here I said I would cut off that, the bottom part, because I would never cut away that sky. And on this path, I would probably cut off some of that top. So we'll do this at the one, and I'm gonna throw these away. Yes, believe it or not, I'm throwing something away. So again, one and five sixteenths. So here's four sixteenths, here's five sixteenths. And then one and three fourths. Again, I'm gonna throw those two pieces away. Yes, you could use them. I'm not going to. All right, and then you're gonna have a strip. You're either gonna have a three fourths by two and three fourths strip, or a three fourths by three and a half inch strip. It really depends on your sentiment, what uh, word you're using. So let me grab out a piece of white here, and I'm gonna do three and a half, wait, uh, let me do the three-fourths first. I'm gonna do the three-fourths first. Don't know if that's a straight edge. I've cut a little crooked, there we go. So I'm gonna do three-fourths, and then I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, and I'll decide whether I want it to be the shorter side or longer side, depending on what I end up doing. And then of course you need a card base. So I'm thinking with all of these beautiful colors here, I want a lighter card base. So I think I'm going to do, here we go. I think I'm gonna do pool party. And I'm sorry, yes, there's a little bit of a shadow because 
my camera, my phone wouldn't work again this morning, so I'm using that camera. So that's why it's curved, and that's why there's a little bit of a shadow. All right, so your base card. Let me get that. Base card, nine rectangles, and then a strip for a sentiment. And that's all you need. Come on, ugh, come on back by on Friday, and we'll finish this up together. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye for now.